Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamri and in this video we are going to install RSA tools on Windows 10 operating system with, with the help of PowerShell. So with the help of PowerShell commands, we can do it, we can install it on Windows 10 operating system. So how to do this? So stay with me because I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows 10 operating system. So first of all, you have to click on the search box and then type PowerShell. Here you can see Windows PowerShell is there. It's an application and you can open it with the help of this start menu run as administrator or you can right click on it and just click on run as administrator. It will ask you for user account control permission and then click on yes. So now PowerShell is open but to install RSAT tools with the help of PowerShell you should also have the internet connection on your Windows 10 computer because even if it is given in Windows 10 operating system in a package format you need internet connection to connect to Windows update website and to download and then install on your computer so let's go ahead and run some of the commands but first of all we should know if there are any tools installed on this computer so let's check out the first command to check if any tools are installed on this machine so windows capability is the command what we are going to use to install rsat in windows 10 operating system but first of all we would extract the commands in the windows capability so get hyphen command hyphen noun windows capability enter and you would see add hyphen windows capability get hyphen windows capability and remove hyphen windows capability and these are the commands what we are going to use to install these features on windows 10 operating system so let's go ahead and check out which are the tools which are the rsat tools installed on this particular system with another command and that command is get hyphen windows capability space hyphen name space rsat then star and then hyphen online hit enter and it will give us the results which are the tools installed if installed it will show us if the status is installed then present and if the status is not installed then not present so this is going to come in the raw format and then we are going to convert it into tabular format with another command it is going to take some time meanwhile i will pause the recording and will come back once it's complete so now you can see it is giving us results in the listed format and to get the results into tabular format we have to use the pipe feature in the same command and to extract it into tabular format so i am going to press the up arrow key to get the same command then space pipe space select hyphen object hyphen property display name we have to check what is given over here name state display name so we are using display name you have to use a display name in this command and then we can use state if you want to use name you can use that as well comma then hit enter and it will give us in the tabular format it is also going to take some time so meanwhile i will pause the recording so you can see i did not use pipe ft in the previous command so i did not use ft in this command so it is not giving me results for the state column and once i use ft in this command then it is giving me result for not present and for the state as well so you have to use ft for getting state as well because so until now we have checked if any tools are installed on this windows 10 machine or not and we have seen that none of the tools are installed on this machine so i am going to install all the tools with only one command and that particular command is get hyphen windows capability space name space rsat star space hyphen online space add hyphen windows capability space 
online and then hit enter so it is going to install all the tools all the rsat tools on this windows 10 machine and again we will run the above command to check if all the tools are installed or not so this is going to take some time and meanwhile i will pause the recording and will come back once this is finished Once you install these tools with the help of PowerShell command, you will be able to manage Active Directory from Windows 10 computer. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button because it gives motivation to create more videos. Please hit the subscribe to get the notifications in your Gmail box. And also press the bell icon by enabling all notifications for my channel.